Hey guys, today I'm going to do a video showing you how to hook up your throttle and choke cables on the riding lawnmower engines and how to adjust them because you always have to adjust them when you put them in. And it's pretty simple to do. First thing you got to do is get your throttle cable with the Z band in it. It's important you have to have a Z band like that. This ain't exactly the best. It's supposed to be more of a squared off, but it'll work for uh, just showing you how to do that. So you just put it in there like that. You want to put it underneath your. Now at this point, set your throttle for idle and slide this all the way over. This gets you in the ballpark. Then uh, just snug this so you can still move it in here. Now set your throttle for full throttle. You can see that happens quite a bit. Then move the whole thing over like this until it bottoms out. Then you can go ahead and tighten this up. And put it back on out on it should push it all the way down. And the way you can tell that your linkages and all this is set up right without having the engine running is when it, when you got your throttle set at idle, your governor arm here should be real free, just barely any spring like that. Then when you give it full throttle like this, it should be real real springy like that. It will spring right back like that. Also, you'll notice. This arm right here coming up. If your engine has automatic choke, so that when you set it to full throttle, it automatically chokes your engine. That's what this is. And there's a little linkage that runs over here and chokes your engine at full throttle. Then as soon as you throttle down, that comes down like that. So that's how your throttle cable is set up on any engine. But uh, if your engine has the automatic choke like I was talking about, then that's all you have to do. As long as that arm is coming up at full throttle, you know everything's right. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to set up your manual choke. If your engine, your lawnmower has a manual choke. Now, what I got to do, I got to take this cable back off because I don't have a second cable handy to hook up on there. So I'm just going to reuse this one on this. Also, got to get a clamp off another engine to put it up here. Also, note how I'm putting this in. There's a hole here. This one's a square hole, but on this, it's a round hole. And the part that sticks out always goes into that. And your screw just goes in there like that. This is a 5 16th, by the way. Okay, now you want to get your choke set for off. This is going to be a little tricky to get this in there. You just put it in there. Be careful with these because that, that part will break very easily on that uh, on the carburetor there. Now set it so it's all the way over like that because that's your choke off position. And now pull your choke out just to make sure everything's working. You can see that's the way it's supposed to work, just like that. That's really all there is to it. That's the only adjustment you got to make is when the choke is off. That way you know this is all the way over. Just check it so it's all the way over like that and then you know for sure that your choke is 100% off so the, there's no restriction there on there. Like I said, be careful with that piece of plastic on there. They'll, uh, they do tend to break a lot, mainly because it's so hard to get the cable connected in there. Also, if this does break off, you can drill a hole on the top of it right here. I talked about this in another video and it's kind of hard to show you with the with everything on this. But if you look, if this breaks off right here, just drill a hole right there on top of it and just put the cable in through there and it'll work just fine. I've had to do that a few times in uh, carburetors. Now I'll, uh, this is basically the same with any engine, but I'll, uh, I'll show you another engine with a slightly different carburetor on there just to show you a uh, another way that you can put these on. About all your newer engines are going to have this set up like this or something similar to this. Of course most of your new engines have an automatic choke like I was talking about. But I still prefer the manual choke because uh, I don't like for an engine to rev up at full throttle when it's cold like that. All your oil ain't circulated yet in the engine and you can score a bearing or scratch a cylinder or something real easy. Okay now I'll show you the other type of carburetor that you'll find on these engines. This is your old one-piece style, which you'll find on your older engines. 
and just about all of these will have a manual choke on it and the way I've always found them done is uh, the way I've always done them there's a hole right here in the flywheel cover you can put a uh, sheet metal screw in here about a half inch long will work fine if you get one too long it'll go in there and hit the flywheel and you don't want that to happen and you do basically the same thing the Z on the cable hooks into this right here then make sure your choke is off when you control and this will be all the way back just like it is right now and when you give it full choke it pulls back like that it'll hook into this right here like I said just put a put your clamp right here if you look here you'll see a place where you can put a cable clamp but most of the time you don't see a there ain't a connector here for it to hook to now if yours has the connector here on the shaft for your choke then uh, go ahead and hook it up and put you use your clamp here and you can see it's got a place for your cable to slide right in but if it don't have that then do what I was talking about on the back side which I like doing that better anyway that's also a little uh, trick if you unhook the uh, choke linkage that this piece right here hits it goes through here and it pushes on the back side that makes your choke close automatically if you decide to do away with that like I was talking about then uh, just about every one of these metal flywheels will have a hole right here where you can put a sheet metal screw in and a clamp and you can do the same thing on one of these and just uh, take that linkage out that way you can set up a manual choke on it if you want also another little uh, minor detail to bring up if you look on this one your uh, choke cable or your throttle cable comes in like this hooks up horizontally whereas on this engine the way this one's set up your uh, cable clamp will be here but it, uh, the cable comes in from the top like that uh, that's usually the that's the only ways I've ever seen them either horizontal or vertical like that well guys I guess that's about it if you got any questions uh, feel free to leave a comment below in the video or uh, send me a message and I'll uh, get back to you as soon as I can so thanks for watching